financing and all these things. They did not institute a college preparatory curriculum across the board. So there are schools now that don't have the themes, like if everybody wasn't going to go to college, I wanted to study agriculture, I went to a certain school like West Roxbury. Because that's no longer available, they did not institute college preparatory across the board. So I know from a, for a fact that at some schools, when my daughter is a senior at Boston Latin School, she takes seven classes. My son is a freshman at Brighton High, he takes four. So if you want to start on just a, uh, a basis level, regardless of what the kid is from and what neighborhood they're from, it lets you know that the kids are at a disadvantage. I, you know, that has nothing to do with the, you know, the school, it's the system. If there are 26 letters in the alphabet and you master 13 of them, and you can be a master of 13 letters, there's still more that you don't know. And unfortunately, a lot of them don't learn until they get to college. It's one thing to get in college, and it's another thing to stay in college. And so I came to this meeting because I'm more concerned with a curriculum that allows the kids the chance to go to college should they choose. And I don't think that that currently exists in the Boston public school system, regardless of what their background is, regardless of what neighborhood they're from. I don't feel like the curriculum gives them the best chance to, to live their life dream. So, I yes. forgot about that. And I did attend Boston Public Schools. I went to the Donald McKay in East Boston. I also went to uh, Western Medco. I'm a, I'm a Medco alum. And after I left Western, I ended up going to Boston College High School. So I've got a unique experience in dealing with really three different experiences um, in my early education. One thing that stands out in my mind um, is what the brother here spoke about, is the college prep aspect. In Boston Public Schools, there's no real preparation to get kids to the next level. Um, my, my time at Medco and Weston really prepared me to get to BC High. My time at BC High really prepared me to go to college. And in Boston Public Schools, when I went to elementary school at Donald McKay, that, that connection was missing. There was no preparation to get to the next level. Um, currently, we're dealing with a situation where six out of ten black males drop out of high school. Um, so what that means is that we end up with six young men, uneducated, no GED, no real training, who will potentially end up committing a crime. Um, and that, that's a serious issue that, we, that we're going to have to address. One thing we did at BC High, a friend of mine is currently a dean there, and during the MLK weekend two years ago, they had an MLK service, so he invited all the alumni back. Um, and from that meeting, we actually started an alumni mentoring program to help the young men who are currently there deal with the issues that, that they're facing. Um, they need intervention, they need counseling, they need mental health. They understand what goes on in this community with the murders, with the homicides, with the violence, and there's really no outlet for them to express themselves or to deal with the grief that they're, they're, they're living with and going to school with. Um, so that's an issue and that's a program that I, I think would support us well if we were able to duplicate it all over Boston. Um, I know there may be some, some graduates from Madison, from Tech. We could just find a small group of black men who are willing to go back to the school once a month, once a week, talk to the kids, help guide them through this process to prepare them for college. So I think we have to take some onus upon ourselves as a community and as men um, to say, you know, the system needs fixing. We're not looking for the, for the man to come in on the white horse. We're going to find a way to do what we can to help fix the system ourselves. So that's that's all I'll say. Um, hope to get your vote on February 15th. <laughs> Anyone who wins it, this <laughs>